also, there's this new challenge, which is to do your whole face in highlighters. So I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna look like this. Um, obviously this is not practical. And before I get started, I do wanna warn that when you pile a bunch of highlighter on your face, it will emphasize every terrible thing that your face is doing at the moment. So every texture, every bad skin decision is going to show up. So here are all of mine. See them? But if you want to see how I got shining like the Tin Man, uh, keep watching. Okay, so let's get this insanity started. I did even out my skin tone just a little bit with some foundation that I mixed with liquid highlighter. But I'm going to go on top of that with uh, liquid highlighter alone. This is Life's Entropy uh, Galaxy Glow Illuminator in Nebula. I'm just going to pump some out and I'm going to dab it all over my face and blend it in. I'm using cream products. I'm not going to set my face quite yet. I'm going to move <clears throat> right into some blush. And for my blush, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Glow Stick in the shade Light Up My Hibiscus. And I'm just going to take this on the back of back of the apples of my cheeks. I'm just going to kind of put it on pretty strongly and blend it out. Highlight on top of highlight. I'm going to take the Mega Glow Stick in Marigold Brown and I'm just going to take it on the high points of my cheeks and around my brow. I'm also going to take this down the bridge of my nose and above my Cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin. I'm going to set my face using the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana uh, bronzing powder. It is very shimmery and I'm just going to use a wide powder brush from Ryan Line Nickel. Okay, so I'm going to do my eyes now. I just ran uh, NYX's brow mascara through my eyes. I'm going to prime my eyes using NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese. And I'm just really just going to go almost to the brow bone with this and blend it out with my fingers. The Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette in Catwalk Pink. I'm going to take a crown blending brush. I'm just going to take the fluffy end and I'm going to swirl it in this gold color right here. I'm just going to pat it on and blend it in. Using the lighter shade here, I'm just going to take it on the pencil brush, take it into the inner corner. And I'm gonna buff this under the eyes. I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face. I'm going to use A dome stippling brush from Sephora. This is the number 41. And I'm going to use the shade Aura from Urban Decay. And I'm going to use this as my blush. I'm going to pick some up. And I'm going to set it on the apples into my cheeks. And blend it back. I'm going to do a little bit of bronzing using Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. Open. That. I'm going to use the Tarte Swirl Contour Power Brush and I'm just going to take it right around my hairline just a bit. Mm -hmm. 
using a fluffy, fluffy blending brush from Wet n Wild. I'm just going to kind of buff it out real quick. For more highlight, on top of highlight, I'm going to take L'Oreal's True Match Lumi in Ice and a Sephora fan brush. And I'm just at the tops of my cheekbones. <laughs> and down the bridge of my nose. Oh my god. Cupid's bow. Chin. I'm going to put on a bit of mascara. This is Tarte's Lights Camera Splashes. I'm going to add some lipstick. This is L'Oreal's Silverstone. And I'm just going to apply it. down and there's the finished look. Um, if you enjoyed this type of craziness, I've had it. So uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. The Instagram and Twitter and Facebook is at Field by Makeup. Snapchat is in the description box. Check out my blog at Field by Makeup. Uh, if you want to see more not crazy stuff, uh, hit the subscribe button and give this a thumbs up. Um, if you're going to try this, go ahead and I want to see your creations. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do this every day. <laughs> it seems a little too much for me, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.